Saginaw, Texas is a city that I've been waiting to cover for a long time, ever since we started this series, because it's one of the best opportunities, both from a homeowner perspective and also from an investor. So that's why you're featuring the city of Saginaw today. We're going to look at its history, what it's like to live in Saginaw, and we're also going to look at the affordability, the lifestyle in Saginaw real estate. And this in-depth approach is going to allow us to compare the city of Saginaw to the surrounding cities of the DFW Metroplex. So if you've been thinking about moving to the city of Saginaw or simply want to learn more about the city, this is the video for you because we're covering everything you need to know about Saginaw, Texas. Saginaw is located 11 miles north of downtown Fort Worth and has two primary highways. It has Business 287 running straight through the center of Saginaw and on the south side of the city, it has Interstate 820. Now, if you want to get to Fort Worth to check out Sundance Square, give yourself 15 minutes. And if you want to go to Dallas to check out Clyde Warren Park, give yourself 35 minutes. Now, if you need to catch a flight at the DFW International Airport, give yourself 25 minutes. Now, I share these heavily frequented locations because at one point or another, if you're going to live in Saginaw, you're going to go to Fort Worth, you're going to go to Dallas, and you're going to catch a flight. But to give you a more in-depth feel of what the commute looks like for Saginaw residents, know that the average commute time is 27 minutes, which is actually one minute better than the DFW average of 28 minutes. And a huge reason for that is because of its proximity to Fort Worth, because a lot of Saginaw residents commute into Fort Worth to work and then head back to live. So now that we know where in the world Saginaw, Texas even is, I want to welcome you to the DFW Homeowner YouTube channel, the go-to real estate channel for the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. My name is Jaime Resendez, your local realtor and team leader able to help you make money in real estate, whether you're buying or selling. And we're on a mission to reach every DFW resident. So if you can hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell, it's going to really help us out. All right, so let's get back to Saginaw because this is what you came for. Saginaw is located in Tarrant County and was founded in the late 1800s and very quickly experienced a rapid growth given its proximity to the Texas Pacific Railway. And although present day it has a population of over 24,000 people, Saginaw is still known for its small town feel, which preserving that small town feel is going to become harder and harder given that Saginaw is one of the fastest growing cities in the country. So to add some context to the city of Saginaw, I want to introduce an external resource in niche.com, which interprets millions of public data sets on cities all across the country. And as you can see, Saginaw has received a B plus grade from niche having aggregated the 12 categories you see on the screen and has also been ranked as the 17th best place to raise a family in Tarrant County. Now that's what the algorithm has to say, but what do current and former Saginaw residents have to say about the city? Well, according to the 89 reviews so far, Saginaw residents give it four stars out of five. Now the full report on Saginaw is quite extensive, so I'll link it down below for your review because now we need to explore a little bit further and see what the recreation scene looks like. 66% of Saginaw residents live within a 10 mile walk of a park, which is 11% better than the national average of 55. Now I specifically wanted to highlight that step because it highlights the small geography that we're talking about, which explains why you only have seven parks. So if you're coming in from a larger city, you may think that seven parks is not enough. However, it actually over indexes in parks when you adjust for the size of the city. So as far as the rest of the recreation goes, Saginaw does offer a wide range of recreation programs, fitness and activities for all ages and abilities. All right, so now let's talk about one of the most important requirements for every renter and homeowner, which is the school system. Because regardless if you have kids or not, the school system impacts you directly, given that it impacts your property taxes, resale values, and also the rent rates. Because historically, if you're in a stronger school system, rents are going to be higher. Eagle Mountain Saginaw ISD has over 22,000 students enrolled and has a 16 to 1 student per teacher ratio. Now to put that in perspective, the Texas ratio is 15 to 1. Also, the average EMS ISD teacher has 12 total years of experience and has one of the lowest turnover rates in the area, which is all fantastic. However, just as a heads up, the Eagle Mountain Saginaw ISD is actually one of the fastest growing in the area as well. So just be on the lookout for that. But given that I'm a real estate agent, that's about the extent that I'm able to share on the school system. 
So I'll link a full report down below for you to check it out. Now, something that I am able to cover and cover quite extensively is the Chick-fil-A situation. So we do have to ask, is there a Chick-fil-A in Saginaw? And unfortunately, the answer is no, not officially within city limits. So you're gonna have to go to Fort Worth to get your fix. All right, so I'm only half joking. I understand that Chick-fil-A might not be as important for you than it is for me. But what might be important for both of us is Saginaw real estate, because real estate impacts you directly, regardless if you're a renter or a homeowner. So let's start off from a macro perspective. The median home value in Saginaw is $332,894, which is a 20.2% rise over the past year. Now we know that home values have been going up over the past 10 years, however, nothing compared to what happened over the last 12 months. So if you've been wanting to buy and have been waiting patiently on the sidelines until home prices came down, you might soon get your wish. But now that we know that the median home value in Saginaw is $333,000, let's compare that to the surrounding cities. The median home value in Haslett is $622,000. In Keller, it's $633,000. In Fort Worth, it's $327,000. In Haltom City, it's $260,000. And the median home value in Lake Worth is $255,000. So as you can see, when you compare Saginaw to the surrounding cities, the median home value is right towards the middle. But let's take it one step further. How much home can you actually afford for that $333,000 price tag? Now those are some good looking homes, right? Well, unfortunately, by the time you're watching this video, chances are those homes have already sold. But don't worry, for the most current list of our preferred homes in Saginaw, check out the link down below, which now is also a great time to share with you how to actually calculate your monthly mortgage payment in Saginaw. So I'm gonna link a video right here that's gonna help you do that, which is mandatory watching, especially if you're coming in from out of state, because the way that we do property taxes is radically different than most states, given that we have some of the highest property taxes in the country. But to be fair, we do not have state income tax here in Texas, which is a great segue into our next category, which is the cost of living. Overall, the cost of living in Saginaw is 0.3% higher than the national average. From a groceries perspective, it's 1.6% less expensive in Saginaw. From a housing perspective, it's about 12% less. Utilities is 0.3% more. And when it comes to transportation, it's 13.8% more expensive in Saginaw than the national average. So at this point, you might be thinking, Jaime, Saginaw sounds like the perfect city for me. If that's you, congratulations. I invite you to connect with our top realtors Link down below. But if you're still on the fence, that's okay too. I want to give you two comparable cities to consider. I want you to check out Burleson and I also want you to check out the city of Benbrook. But under no circumstances should you check out the city of...